My name is Phil, and I'm with Layer 1. Today, I'm going to talk to you about rendering variants, a feature of the Sitecore Experience Accelerator that allow us to take content from our content editor and display it in the markup on the pages in our site without writing any custom code. Let's dive in. I've got a page here on my site called Demo Page, and this page is of a type that is a, a custom page template. This custom page template has a field on it that doesn't exist on the out-of-the-box page template, and that field's called demonstration text. If I take a look at this page right now on the live site, I won't see the content from the demonstration text on the page. This is because there's currently one rendering on the page, page content, but the rendering variant that's in use is the default version that comes with Sitecore, and it does not know about this field and thus does not display it. To solve this problem, I can create a custom rendering variant that displays our demonstration text field. To do this, I navigate in my site tree to the presentation area. And then I navigate to the rendering variants area where all the rendering variants are contained. Now the rendering variants are organized uh, based on the rendering that they are compatible with. On your implementation, you may see more, less, or different renderings here uh, based on what your developer or partner has chosen. As this is the page content rendering, I'm going to add a rendering variant for page content. To do that, the first thing I need to make is my variant definition, which is, defines how the rendering variant is going to be identified, a name, if you will. I'll call it the demo variant. Now that I have a demo variant, I need to add what's called a variant field. The variant field is used to actually render the content from the data source item, in this case, the page, uh, in the markup on the page. So if I go ahead and I click field, I can go ahead and I can enter a name of the field. Now this is an important step. This must match the name of the field exactly on the data source that you wish to read in, in this case, the page. So in our case, this is called demonstration text. And now I've created a variant field. Now, remember, we're doing this so we don't have to write any custom code. So there's some decisions that need to be made here, namely, what HTML element is going to be used to display this content. In this case, I'm going to choose an H1. The field name, which again needs to match exactly the field that you're pulling in. And there's some other things too, prefixes, suffixes, links, CSS classes, things like that. Uh, this is how we define the behavior of what's going to show up in the HTML markup. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to save this and I'm going to publish it so that way it's available for use on our site. Now that this variant is available for use on our site, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to modify the page to actually use it. So navigating back up to my demo page here in the Sitecore tree, I'll go to the presentation details and I'll see my list of renderings on the page. I'll open up my page content control properties and I will scroll down to the styling section. Here in the styling section, I can select my rendering variant or any other rendering variant that's available for page content on this site. I'll select mine, demo variant, and I'll go ahead and press OK, and I'll go ahead and press OK again. Finally, I'll publish this to the site, so that way we can see the changes. Voila, we can see our content on the page now. This is an exciting feature of the Sitecore platform. We can get this content on the page without writing any custom code, which is great for the initial development cost. It make thing, makes things easier and less expensive to implement. However, we're now also enabled for very fast and rapid iteration. Additionally, the content editor could control this functionality if they so wish, and they could change the markup themselves. 
At Layer 1, we do lots of cool stuff like this. If you're interested in finding out more about this and the other things we do, check out our website at layer1media.com.